welcome back. Well, I think we know that Dubai is a uniquely modern and cosmopolitan city. And although it is home to expatriates from around the world, there are still distinct traditions and customs in the UAE. Ewan was fortunate enough to experience some of the local culture and gain a deeper understanding of both the traditional food and its people. He's about to head onto a camel and out into the desert to experience this culture firsthand. Take a look. Over the years, Dubai became known for its life of luxury. The tall skyscrapers, the fast cars, the beautiful views. But you can't forget that it still has a rich heritage and a very deep-seated culture. I'm heading into the desert to experience a true Bedouin breakfast. And what better way to get there than this old vintage 1940 Land Rover for some desert fun. With the rapid development of Dubai as a major business center, the government recognized the need to preserve its unique desert habitat. The 225 square kilometer Dubai Desert Conservation Reserve was created in 2003 to protect the desert landscape. So here we are, I've arrived at the traditional Bedouin camp. Now before even allowed to enter, there's a couple of things that need to happen. Back in the old days, the Bedouins used to come here from long camel rides in the desert, so they would get refreshed with some rose water on their hands, and they get handed a cup of original Arabic coffee paired with some dates, and then only are you allowed to enter. The word Bedouin comes from an Arab word meaning desert dweller. Estimates say nomadic Bedouins constitute a tenth of the population in the Middle East and there's a great pride in preserving their way of life. Bedouins has got a very deep and rich history and culture. How do you make sure that your culture is preserved in modern day life? Hamad explained that the Bedouin people used to get their food and medicine from the desert. However, now they go to the city to purchase supplies but don't use money. The Bedouin trade with goods they make, the women make baskets or tents from goat hair, and they trade those goods for supplies such as rice and coffee. And I also like the fact that the traditions and culture are being kept alive through tourism, like what I've experienced this morning with the rose water and the coffee. What are some of the other traditions that you are keeping alive for people all across the world to come and experience? Khamad said they are very proud when people ask about their heritage. The Bedouins set up camps and welcome people into their tents where visitors can ask questions. They also give them Arabic coffee and food as well as a gift. Here we have a traditional Bedouin breakfast. You'll see it's got some, some pancakes with honey, some oregano bread, and then some noodles with egg that's also got some sugar in because the Bedouins, they love their something sweet in the desert. I can't wait to tuck in and just give this a bit of a go. Mm. To understand the many facets of Emirati culture and heritage, one of the best places to visit is the Sheikh Mohammed Center of Cultural Understanding. It aims to raise awareness of local culture, traditions, and customs, as well as correct any stereotypes. Some common misconceptions a lot of times people have about Emirati culture is typically about the dress. They kind of tend to associate it with religion, when for us it's really more about culture. Um, they a lot of times ask, why black, why white, when really the answer is very simple, is it happened completely on accident. Um, and it's coming from recent trade through the 50s and the 1930s. Like the Bedouin breakfast, the traditional food served here is mainly sweet and carb-rich to provide enough energy for the day. It is also customary to eat seated on the floor and to remove your shoes when entering a room. Traditionally, we sit very close with each other. It's a very cozy kind of thing. Typically, nowadays, we um, have separate plates, but everybody would um, help each other dishing out the plates that are closest to them. The etiquette is to eat from what's, what's in front of you. Finish your plate. Um, and don't overeat, definitely. Much like their food, the culture of Dubai is full of flavor and focuses on sharing as well as mutual respect. It is steeped in history and its customs not only make for an interesting experience, but a valuable lesson in dignity as well. Well, if this has sparked your interest, enjoy the flying experience even more when heading to Dubai by routing through London, maybe spending a few days in the Royal City. You could collect over 10,000 Avios by flying with British Airways as you collect one Avios for every mile flown. You get extra Avios when you fly in premium cabins as well and collect at least 500 Avios on every booking that you make. So go and have yourself your own desert adventure and maybe look at some awesome stops along the way. Well, we continue with our own cultural explosion, but keeping it local now and we stay in the kitchen.